Hey guys, so it has been a crazy 48 hours. Our house has been inundated with flying squirrels and it's been my job to get them out of the house. So if you guys wanna see me get ready and talk about my squirrel experience, then just keep watching. Okay, so I have a bunch of new products that I wanna try out. So I'm not gonna go into detail on what they are and what they do, I will leave them all in the description box below, but I know this will be a very long video if I tell you every single thing that I am doing, so I'm just gonna get started. Okay, so, the squirrels. So, ever since we moved into this house in January, we heard things in the walls and in the ceiling above our bedroom but we weren't sure what they were. We thought maybe they were regular squirrels, we thought maybe they were mice, we thought maybe they were bats, we weren't really sure. So we asked the guy that does our pest control in our house and he said that it's probably flying squirrels. So we thought, great, how are we gonna get rid of these flying squirrels? So they told us that we had a hole coming into our attic through a vent that was right above our master bedroom. So we hired someone to replace the screen and we ended up putting um, chicken wire behind the screen so that whatever animal it was that was chewing and making the hole wouldn't be able to get back in because we have the chicken wire there now. So we thought this is a great plan, they won't be able to get back in. Problem solved. Well the problem was they were already in the house when we patched up the hole and put the chicken wire up. So they had nowhere to go but into our house. So that was Tuesday morning that we patched up the screen and put the chicken wire up. Tuesday night we went to bed, no problem. The next morning, my husband gets ready for work and he calls me downstairs and says, I think I hear something downstairs. Can you come downstairs because I have to go to work. I'm using the Hard Candy Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer in light. And we go downstairs and both of our cats are staring at the corner of our mudroom, which is abnormal for them because usually they don't really hang out together. They're usually sleeping in opposite corners of the house. I mean, they get along, but they're not like they're not like playmates or anything. So my husband's like, I hear something, but I don't see anything. And just then we see a little head pop out from behind our stack of extra paper towels. And at first we thought it was a mouse, but then we realized it was a flying squirrel. Now, Normally you just open doors and windows and it would find its way out, but we have two cats and we have three kids. Can't really do that. And we live in the woods, so other animals would come in. So we opened our, we put the cats upstairs quickly. So we opened the door going to our garage. We got a broom and we kind of tried to scoot him out because our laundry room leads to our mud room and then from our mud room it leads to our basement and up to our living space because we have a split level. So we just wanted to keep him out of the main living area downstairs. So thankfully, we were able to scoot him out to the garage and then out the garage door without him getting into the house. And then, so we figured problem solved. It was just a fluke. One got into the house, won't happen again. My husband went to work. Only problem with that assumption is we were wrong. He was one of six so far that we know of that got into the house. Let me finish this and I'll tell you the rest. Okay, so my mic wasn't plugged in, so if the sound was a little off in the beginning, I apologize. So, let me just say my first impressions of the Glamouflage Concealer. It is leaving lots of patchy, streaky marks under my eyes, so I'm not a big fan of this right off the bat. 
and I got definitely got the wrong shade of the Hourglass foundation stick. So, so far, not doing so hot, but today's video is about these squirrels. Okay, so that was squirrel number one. We scooted out the door. My husband went to work. Next up was squirrel number two. So I thought that they were all gone. I went about my day. And then I noticed that my cat Dewey, my male cat Dewey, who's more of like the hunter in our family, he likes to chase toy mice. He, he's more playful. I noticed that he wouldn't leave the kid's toy box alone downstairs. So I went to go see what he was doing. I'm using this, by the way. And he has little paws on where the toy box opens. And I said, Dewey, what's, what's the matter? What's going on? And he wouldn't leave the toy box. So I start pulling things out of the toy box. And inside the kid's toy box was the flying squirrel just staring at me. So I freaked out, shut the toy box, and called my husband. And he's like, well, just take the whole toy box outside, and eventually it will leave. Brilliant. Great idea. So I did that, took it outside, and left it there for a while, thinking, oh, it'll eventually just leave the garage. I opened both garage doors. No, he was just hanging out in the garage 20 minutes later, and so I had to physically like scoot him out the door. And of course he wanted to run towards the house instead of the nature and the outdoors, so that was funny. Um, next up, I'm going to try the Physician's Formula Powder Palette Minerals Glow Pearl. This is Beige Pearl. Um, so that was squirrel number two. So squirrel number one was in the mudroom and we scooted it out with the broom. Squirrel number two was in the toy box. I am so glad that we have our cats this week because they have been notifying us every time there's a squirrel in the house. Otherwise, we probably wouldn't know. So that was squirrel number two. Um, next I'm trying the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray and then I'm gonna try the highlight on top of that. This one's a bit more of a direct spray. It's like going in two directions. Okay, so squirrel number two. Squirrel number three. <laughs> About 20 minutes later, my cat again was like perched at the laundry room doorway. He wouldn't leave. And I go down and I hear dum -dum 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 on top of our air vents. And I'm thinking, great, here's another one. What am I going to do? So I had previously been cleaning the floor where squirrel number two or squirrel number one was running around. So I had a box of Lysol cleaner and water in a bucket ready to clean because after squirrel number two, I have to now disinfect and clean an entire toy box full of toys. So I had a bucket on the counter ready to clean and the squirrels running around on top of the air ducts. And um, I'm gonna go in with this on the lips. I don't know how it happened, but he missed the counter and ended up, he was running along the air duct. I was trying to scare him out the door and somehow he jumped from the air duct right into the bucket of the Lysol cleaner. What are the chances of that happening? A squirrel jumping right into a bucket of cleaner. I have a video of that part, so I'll show you right here. I wasn't sure if he was dead or not, so I took a video. And then once he wasn't moving, I went to go grab a box or something to put over the bucket so I could take him outside. And he jumped out and landed on the floor with a splat. <laughs> he's soapy and slippery. He tried to climb the walls. He couldn't really climb because he's all wet and slippery. So he runs out past me and goes towards the playroom area. And so I grab my broom again and try to scoot him out the garage door. After about five minutes, it did eventually work and I was able to scoot him out the garage door. But then all he wanted to do was clean himself in our garage because he was wet and soapy. So there he is taking a bath, taking his good old time, not leaving our house, not leaving our garage, I should say. This is beautiful and it tastes amazing. Okay, I love that. 
Um, so finally, after scooting him, and he kept going under my car, behind the wheel, back under the car, behind the wheel, finally I got him out, and I got to see him kind of run and jump and spread his, not his wings, but you know, flying squirrels have extra, extra folds here, and then their tail is wide, so it looks like they're kind of soaring through the air. So squirrel number three was out of here. This is all while my husband's at work. About 20 minutes later, I go downstairs, and I hear something running inside the air duct. I'll insert the video of what it sounded like right here. And then I see a little head pop out through a hole in our air duct. So that's what I saw and that's what I heard so I knew another one was coming. So I put the cats back upstairs, I open the door to the garage, and I just wait. And then finally I hear, it had finally landed on a sticky trap <laughs> that we had in the basement. So I was able to get him in the sticky trap, put him in a box, and take him outside. And that was about 11 in the morning. This all started around 7 a.m. By 11 a.m. I had already escorted four flying squirrels out of the house. Meanwhile, while making sure our cats don't get out of the house, meanwhile making sure my three kids don't kill themselves while I am dealing with the three squirrels, four squirrels. So it was a crazy morning. Finally around three o'clock, um, I mean the whole day, I'm basically perched on a stool downstairs waiting for more to show their faces. They have nowhere else to go but in. Um, next up, I'm going to be trying these Jane Iredell Mystical Powdered Eyeliners. I have Sapphire and Emerald. I think I'm going to go with Sapphire today. So those were the four swirls that I dealt with. But then last night, oh, that's cute, the kids had like a preschool open house thingamajig. So I took them to that. And then around 6.30, my husband calls and says, get home right now. There's one in my closet. Thinking, here we go again. <laughs> like that so thankfully my grandfather had given me a um, squirrel cage because they have issues with squirrels as well not in their house but still so he gave me a squirrel cage and we put it in my husband's closet barricade the door so that it cannot climb under the door and we just wait and within a matter of probably five or ten minutes after I got home and set up the trap we had squirrel number five in the cage so then we just took him outside and that was that so we figure that that's probably the last of them because we were told that flying squirrels have families of like three to five three to six squirrels so we figured all right we already have five hopefully that's the end of it we didn't hear any more in the walls i was hearing one in the walls during the day so i knew there was probably more so we figured that was it. So around 10 o'clock we get ready to go to bed and we just make one final, one final check of the basement. And again, there is my cat just staring at the laundry room. Dewey has been a lifesaver. I've, I've given him plenty of treats in the last 42 hours. Um, there he is again, staring at one that got stuck to the sticky trap. We had two sticky traps, number three got stuck to the first one and the number six got stuck to the second one but he took the sticky trap with him up into the pipes of our kids bathroom so now there's a sticky trap squirrel in the pipes of our kids bathtub so I go upstairs and set the trap up at the bathtub but the only problem is I can't make this stuff up guys the only problem is that the squirrel has his nose and one paw on the sticky trap and he's wrapped around a pipe and then his tail is stuck on the sticky trap over here. So he literally stuck himself around the pipe and could not get off. We've had so many stories with this house. I could write a book. It's, it's getting ridiculous, honestly. Between the tree falling, water in the basement, now we have squirrels living in our house. What else has happened? I feel like there's more. We have water coming in through our doors, like just, random ridiculousness with this house. 
So, sticky trap squirrel around the pipe. I give him some time thinking that eventually he'll get unstuck and end up in the squirrel trap. Instead, he gets unstuck from the trap and just stays on the pipe cleaning himself. In no hurry to come down. Not at all. And this is like 10.30 at night. So I decide to give him a nudge to see if he will go into the cage um, or back onto the sticky trap. Either one was fine with me. So I kind of give him a nudge with the sticky trap hoping he'll get restuck and instead he runs under the tub and disappears into the pipes. I don't know where he went. I haven't heard him in the walls, so my husband and I don't want to go to sleep knowing there's a squirrel running around the house. So, since we know where they're coming in the house, which is our laundry room in the basement, they've all come in that way. My husband has the great idea to get like a super thick plastic tarp and just barricade off that room. We don't have doors. We have a split level and we have no doors. The laundry room has no doors, the mudroom has no door, the basement play area doesn't have a door, and then it goes all the way up to the bedrooms, and all the bedrooms have this much space under each door. So, he could be anywhere. So we take this tarp, and literally we staple it to the frame of the doorway going into the laundry room, so that if the squirrel does come back out into the laundry room, hopefully he doesn't go any further. So five of the six squirrels that we know have are out of our house and one remains to be unseen. I've been looking for him all day. I've had the cats out looking and sniffing for him. We haven't heard him in the walls today, so we don't know where he is or when he will show up. <sighs> but that has been our squirrel drama. Okay, so this is the liner. I'm not a big fan of these gel liners in general. And this is very, very bold. This is like 80s bold blue liner. So there you go. Um, last up, I have a mascara to try from CoverGirl. This is the Super Sizer Big Curl. I have been so on edge lately. We didn't sleep at all last night between having the cats in our room and just like waiting to hear like a scratching noise in the wall or waiting to hear like a thud noise of one of them dropping out of the ceiling. It has been intense and like I, okay, I'm not a sweater guys, but I have been like full blown, full body sweat and anxiety for the last 48 hours. It is disgusting, honestly, but like stress sweat, like your body really just kicks into overdrive, like you're hyper alert. I walked around the corner the other day and saw a brown towel on the counter and freaked out thinking it was a squirrel. <laughs> um, a little bit traumatized by all of this, so today the kids and I left and went to Chick-fil-A. Like I just, I just couldn't do it anymore. So that is why I am here playing with bake makeup tonight because I just need some sort of normalcy and calm right now and this is my happy place. So let's try the Super Sizer Big Curl Mascara. I'm not getting much coating my lashes here. It feels very sticky, like I feel like my lashes are sticking to the wand a lot and sticking to each other. You can see I'm getting a lot of it on my skin. I don't know, this is a very big wand, not sure. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this mascara, guys. My makeup today is just honestly a hot mess. <laughs> I mean, I liked the... Physicians Formula Highlight, I liked the blush, I love the lip gloss, but the liner, the concealer, the foundation, this mascara, not doing it.
Have any of you had any unusual run-ins with wildlife in your homes? Please leave me comments down below. Also, let me know how you get flying squirrels out of your house. I have a feeling that that's not the last of them, so let me know, please. Okay, so here is the end look trying these new products today. I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me while I talked about my squirrel drama. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you in my next video, which hopefully will not be about squirrels invading my house. <laughs> Bye, guys.